Hey, I just want to come to you today. My name is Bryce Tubbs. I want to share with you how to thrive as a virtual bookkeeper. Okay, so what I really want to talk about today is the main pillars that cause either success or cause lackluster results. Okay, and if you have these two and you understand exactly what those pillars are, what causes you to win and also what causes you to lose, it's going to ensure that you are thriving and that you are really having the career and business that you want. Now, in order to do that, okay, guys, one thing I forgot to say is we are open for enrollment for the Six Figure Firms Mentorship Program, where I walk with you step by step to make sure you know exactly what to do to go and build a six figure either accounting or bookkeeping firm on this way, the same way I've done for my business. If that's you, go ahead and click on the description on the link below. If you're ready for some help, it'll take you to my calendar. We can schedule a call and I'd love to see exactly how I can help you out. And it will be a great fit for the both of us to work together. Now, anyways, how to thrive okay so there's really going to be about three main pillars we have to go now nowadays it has to be confidence confidence to put yourself out there confidence to get rejected confidence for someone to say no okay and it's really hard for most people when you're first getting started especially for me like because i was when I, there was there was one time in particular where i tried to charge a cleanup and it was like six thousand dollars for the cleanup right and i said yes yeah, so it was six thousand dollars and the lady laughed and she said ha, that's not gonna happen and like she had her business partner on the phone. It was like the two of them, the, the, the one, she just kind of laughed at me at, at my price. It, it kind of, for a minute, it kind of was like, whoa, I never had someone someone do that. It, it was it was really scary and it was kind of overwhelming. It wasn't that it was scary, it was more I just got irritated and I didn't really know what to say back to that. Because, I because you know, sometimes people will kind of let you down kind of easy. But it was just such like a hard rejection in the moment. I was like, wow, I've never experienced that before. And it was very, very confusing. Now, most people, what they would do is they would get really shell-shocked. They would get hurt. They would hold on to that pain, and they just wouldn't go and try and get more clients. It would take them, like, between two weeks to three months in order for them to kind of recuperate from that heart wound. But you guys had to really keep putting yourselves out there really, really quickly and really frequently. Now, I was speaking to uh, my student, Lizzie, in, inside of her student recap interview. Um, she recently got a client for, like, six grand a month. And in the past, she was getting clients for like 400, 200, 300, right? It was, it was a really drastic change for her. And the one thing that stuck out to me when she was speaking was, Bryce, you gave me the confidence to put myself out there, right? Because she was posting on social media, trying to kind of hide behind the posts so that people could start coming to her. And that does work when you're a little bit more established and, and when you when you know what you're doing with the posting. But when we're first getting started, a lot of people aren't going to reach out to you. And it's not that they're mean or it's not that you're doing anything wrong. It's just they don't know you well enough and they haven't seen enough of your content in order for them to really reach out to you. So the way that you go in and you get them is you have to reach out to them first. Like, hey, how's it going? Hey, tell me about your business. Hey, do you want to see if I can help you through accounting or bookkeeping? Like putting yourself out there. You're, the amount of money you're going to be making it's going to be directly related to the amount of people that you speak to and tell that you own an accounting or a bookkeeping business. It's in direct proportion. Um, it's actually exponentially because if you only focus on talking to guys who are making between six, seven, and eight figures, you're going to have to talk to less people. You'll get bigger clients. You'll, I mean, you'll be able to make it to what, 10 grand a month within like three to four clients. It's funny because I used to always tell people, you know, like in order to get to $100,000, a year, like you guys are gonna be looking for, you know, um, you know, between 20, 20 clients max, and we're shooting between, you know, fifteen to twenty clients. But it's like as we keep rolling, as we keep getting better and better at showing students how to price even higher. I mean, like th this thing is is ridiculous, man. If I had no, if I had had something like this when I first got started, dude, you know how how much easier it would been to get to like ten grand, fifteen, twenty grand a month. Like, it's it's ridiculous. Could you imagine like if you're watching like if you just got one client for five grand a month like what what would that do for you? The reason why it's so important to have like clients with this higher price point and a lot of people who haven't really you know ran a bookkeeping business or accounting business for much time it, and that most people don't understand is they don't they don't leave you. If you're doing a good job, if you can build a relationship properly, I have I have mentors and different people in the field who are retiring this year and they had, you know, their business for like 30 years and some of their clients stayed on, stayed on with them for 25 years. Could you imagine the amount of security, the amount of comfort and the amount of growth you can achieve if you had one person paying you five grand a year for 20 years? Like people talk about like job security. Dude, you have client and business security if you can get people on board. 
whether it's five hundred, five thousand, ten thousand dollars per month, you have so much security and so much stability, especially when you're going after these bigger clients. When you're going after these small guys for the hundred fifty, like they might not be around tomorrow. A lot of these guys on the smaller end who are just getting started, they had no budget, they had no business acumen, they get wiped out whenever there's like some kind of economy correction or some kind of like major event that happens. The guys that can pay you five grand a month, those guys know how to survive. Those guys know how to thrive. If they can pay you five grand a month, they probably have significant cash reserves. They have um, leverage from the bank. They have insurance on their business. They have um, ca even even further cash reserves in their personal life. They probably have invested into real estate, hard assets. They can go in and take a mortgage out of their mansion that they probably bought with the money from the business. Like They know how to survive long term. And that's how you start thriving as a bookkeeper, guys. Okay, It's about finding that confidence to go for great rather than just settling for scraps. Right? The reason why there's so many of these guys for 125 or 190 is because people like me, I'm not taking someone for 190 bucks. You kidding me? Go kick rocks. Like, it, it sounds mean, but it's like, if you don't respect me enough to pay me, you know, <laughs> I mean, because think about it. Like, like if you were working for that company, if you were working like a W-2 or, or, you know, a job, would you ever go for $300 a month? Like, no. <laughs> so they can't respect you enough to pay you as a minimum wage employee. Like, they, they can go someplace else. If they don't see the value. I was speaking to this lady on the phone um, earlier today, too, on a consultation. And she said that the person balked at her price when she said that the price was, um, it was like three, I think like 3600 No, it was three grand per year. Like, she was charging like $250 a month. And the lady says, wow, that's $3,000. So expensive. What am I getting for that? And I looked at the, I looked at the person in the consultation. I was like, dude, you need to tell her to go kick some rocks. Cause think about it. Your iPhone costs half of that. Your your computer costs fifteen hundred two grand, depending. On, well, at least mine mine does. Um, <laughs> I don't know about yours. <laughs> but to run a business, if you're barking at three grand over the course of a year, like, is that really the person who you want to kind of put? put your trust in for your for your family? No. Oh. They're not going to be here. They're going to fire you over the littlest thing. They're going to find a reason why your invoice is wrong. They're going to say that, you know, you're not doing good because even if you did get that person who's balking at three grand a, a year to sign on with you, like, they're going to find reasons why it's not working so they can get their three grand back because it's all they have. Okay, guys? So, so place your mind here. This is how you thrive, okay? Could you imagine if you got something like that? If that's you, man, if you want some help, you want to go grow this, you want to actually go and, and take what's yours, go ahead and click on that link below. Book a call with me. I'd love to help you out. I'll talk to you soon.